NBM SETI code. Like, subscribe to this channel. Seven's up, y'all. Check this out, right? In the last couple of years, man, I've lost so many home guys, homeboys, home dudes close to me from violence. You know, um, it's crazy, man. Some of, them were, some of them were not good guys, and some of them were. You know, a lot of them was in the mix out there. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of them was, I mean, more so straight up good dudes, man. Uh, if it was in the streets, man, it was real, real humble. And they took care of their community. And it's crazy, man, I mean, because we, we can't get these brothers back, man. And a lot of them going to be really missed. I don't understand it, man. I mean, the hatred that we have for each other, the envy, the jealousy, you know, I mean, it's sad. I mean, if you can't get it, you want to destroy somebody else, you know what I'm saying, because you can't get what he got. So you want to destroy him and his family. Mind you, when you take out that element, you hurt a lot of people, man. You hurt his kids, his mama, his daddy, you know what I'm saying, his neighbors, people he took care of. I mean, we gotta look at that, man, which we don't. You know what I'm saying? We have whatever, you know what I'm saying? I mean, and believe me, man, your sins can visit your children. I was told that a long time ago when I was out there robbing and taking. And they say, man, what if you know you get locked down? <clears throat> and somebody stopped one of your kids from something you did, decided to take it out on them. And I sat in that cell, man, and it wore me out. I said, man, if somebody do something to one of my kids, man, all hell gonna break loose. And then I gotta look at the fact that a lot of times I've done things to people that will constitute that. And it's sad. You know, um, I think we need to find, we need to find some kind of foundation within yourself and, and say in certain limits that I won't do. You know, I mean, niggas, and niggas don't care about that stuff. They're killing niggas in broad day. And broad day so everybody can see what, what you're doing. And then as soon as you get knocked off, man, somebody tell him, what the hell you think was gonna happen? You kill a nigga in broad day like in front of 100 witnesses. You don't think one of them witnesses is gonna say something? Makes no sense to me at all. When I was growing up in the 60s and 70s, in eight early 80s, man, niggas was, they were if they want to take a nigga out, they had good ways. They used their mind, they used their brain to strategically take a nigga ass out. That old broad daylight in front of his mother and his kids and all that shit, that shit, no, nah, they wasn't doing that. Niggas had too much finesse, too much swag about themselves. Ain't no swag and run up on a nigga in broad daylight in front of a thousand witnesses and kill him. I mean, what kind of shit is that? You know, I mean, it's, it's, man, it's real, man. But we gotta find some kind of, uh, 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 I would say, have some kind of dignity about yourself, about things that you do and things that you will not do. You know, um, there's no more honor out there. Loyalty is for sale. Sad it goes to the highest bidder. Really? I mean, wow. And I always say, don't love me, be loyal to me. You know, because if you're loyal to me, you're gonna love me. Let the loyalty come first. You know, it's sad situations going on here now in, in our communities, man. And it's not just Baltimore, it's all over. We have to look at the people who represent us. You know, all these politicians who are lining their own pockets and letting us fall by the wayside. Something, man, we gotta really think about. You know, who got it in for us? Who gonna represent us? Do some, I don't do no vote. Really? 